Uh, with the first album, a lot of talking about uh, uh, Henry, uh, you and your dad playing in one band. Mm -hmm. What can you think? Uh, what was the good and the bad, uh, the, the best and the worst things about playing with with him on stage? Um, there weren't any bad things, you know. There was there was nothing bad to say about it. I think the only negative thing, I mean, it was you know it was brilliant touring touring the world with him and stuff, and you know. It's like he's not really like a fatherly father, you know. He's very, he's very like he's cool. He's a cool guy, and he, yeah. you know, he he lets you do whatever you want. Yeah, he doesn't, and there's, there's not really any boundaries, you know. You know, we, we, don't, we, don't you don't you feel a little bit, you know, uh, when you're in a band? Uh, I want to get this with the guys. Or, yeah, I know, know what you mean. Uh, I know what you mean, and I, I I don't think he's he's never had a problem with that. Yeah. you know. he's always seen that. But at the same time, I know what you mean. You know, like. I don't think anyone ever wants to feel like they're in someone's shadow the whole time, but they can't, you know, do things they want to do because they don't want to upset somebody. Yeah, I can see that. I, I, I know what you mean. But um, no, I mean, I think the, mo the, the most negative thing about well, the well, the only negative thing about the whole thing is I felt like um, the way we appeared as a band on the first record kind of overshadowed the music in quite a big way, and, and all the like. A lot of the press we had was, oh, so you know, your dad's in the band, you know, wow, you're the only band with a dad in it, and and it was people were talking about that and not listening to the music. And I think with this record, you know, we've, you know, we haven't put any thought into our image. We've just spent a year and a half writing and writing and writing, yeah. and and it's re it can be really frustrating when someone just jumps straight to the surface and just says, oh, you know, so you guys were. Red jumpers. Yeah, they just you know, want to make a like, story about something and associate you with. I guess it's hard because it, I think it's, it, it's, it might be quite hard to pigeonhole us with a certain with a certain thing. So they sometimes people will will go with a certain story. Like before, it was like we were the, we were the band, the old band with um, with an old guy. The old band with an old guy. That doesn't make yeah. sense. <laughs> we, were, we were the band with the old guy, and we used to play prog music. But there was, there was we didn't only play play prog music and. It wasn't. We weren't the band with the old guy. It was a normal thing for us, because you know we were. We started out like that. We started off with, with Henry in the band. It didn't feel weird. It wasn't uh, it for for you. Uh, well, for Blaine, it was. Yeah, it was just your dad. But for the other th three guys, wasn't it strange? You know. No, it wasn't, because like none of us had been yeah. in any any other bands before. Okay. So like it's, it's yeah. kind of. Yeah, I've been I've been some bands. Yeah. I, I I choose not to name them. For most of us. Um, Are you working? Yeah, you were in yeah, I, I was. I, yeah, I guess I was in a band before. I, I used to be managed by the. Um, I was in a band and it started off with the. Um, what was it? The guy that was in Boney M. The like, guy was. He was in Boney M. And he like smoked way too much weed and he was just what, like. Bob, like Bobby Ferrell? I don't know. Um, his name was Malcolm. But the thing is, he said he was he in Boney M. He probably said he was in Boney M. He wasn't really in Boney M. You know, but I think I think the, the one guy in Boney M. No, yeah, there was only one guy in Boney M. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that guy. Okay, maybe but he was his brother yeah. or like. Yeah, his, there were like four. I think yeah. there were like four or five uh, people at one point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, I was in I was in his uh, I was in that band. It was crazy. I think he smoked way too much weed, and he was just like, um, in five years, yeah, I'll be millionaires. Like, <laughs> complete, complete nut job. What kind of so, music was it? It was uh, uh, um, like bad kind of um, alternative pop music, I think. Okay. So yeah, had to get out of there. What was the, band, uh, the name of the band? Uh, I can't say. It's too rude. It's, I, I, yeah, in case they, in case they might be. Uh, well, no, yeah, no, they were called Glass Apple. But Glass Apple. Glass Apple. Okay. I don't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was hilarious. Hilarious times. Desperate times. Okay. But a good experience. Good experience. I learned. I learned some. I learned some things about the music industry and Boney M. Definitely. Okay. Favorite Boney M song? Um, the I have not. I, I don't know. <laughs> Can't answer that. Okay. Pass. I don't think I know a Boney M song. Oh, is it? Um, there's one about the rain. Something about the rain or something. Rivers of Babylon. Ba yeah, I think so. Rivers of Babylon. That is a Boney M song. That would do. <laughs>